Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. Currently, we're approaching the 15 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. We decided to move on to this chart because we assume that the price action is currently breaking its consolidation on the 15 minute chart. Now let's build this consolidation for you. The upper level and the lower level. It looks like the pattern resembles a falling wedge or maybe a bearish channel. <clears throat> Not exactly sure what of these two things it is. But one thing is, sh is sure that there is a strong support area uh, in the zone around 111.90, which we're currently marking on the chart. 0.90. Let's use blue for the support level. No, blue is not a good color. Yellow. Okay. 111.90 because the price action tested this level twice. However, in this bottom here, the price action actually stopped at the lower level of our purple pattern. Where uh, a lower candle wick was thrown down to the 111.90 level. And what we're currently seeing is a breakout through the upper level of the pattern, which uh, we're going to mark with a circle for you. Okay. And this breakout is a reason to believe that the price action will most likely increase, which uh, provides a nice uh, long opportunity on the chart. And for this reason, we will buy half lot of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. Placing a stop loss order somewhere in the middle of the consolidation where it is good to use price action rules to better position your stop loss order. Therefore, I will use this bottom over here created after the last bounce from the upper level of the pattern. Uh, and since this is uh, close to the psychological 112 level, it actually might be better to put the stop loss order a bit lower. Uh, so you'll be able to you will be able to to contain the price action in a better way, conforming to the psychological level. Modify. 100, let's use 111.99995. Okay, this is a stop loss order. We can see it in the 112 area. And as a target, we will use a bullish price distance equal to the size of the pattern itself. It's a pretty big pattern, by the way, which makes the trade very advantageous for us. Let's now measure the size of the pattern. Starting from the first edge at one of the levels. Okay, this is the size of the pattern over here in this rectangle. And then we apply it starting from the moment of the breakout. In other words, our target is located uh, somewhere near 112.60. 112.60. We modify the order again. Okay, the take profit order is a fact. <clears throat> Present on our chart. Something which we can do here is, uh, since we're using a bigger chart and uh, 
it is uh, I mean the trade can still qualify as a scalp trade but uh, I mean since the chart is bigger it might take uh, longer time uh, which means uh, that uh, the trade actually might appear not to be a scalp trade uh, meaning that uh, since the chart is bigger what I'm trying to say is that since the chart is bigger the stop loss order could be placed very tight on the chart I mean it will look like it is very tight on the chart but actually it would not be that tight if you look at the five minute chart for example as you see that's a pretty big stop loss order meaning that when the price action moves in our favor we can try and adjust our stop loss order above the entry point in order to lock to lock in guaranteed profit meaning that uh, even if the price action move against us it will hit our stop loss order before hitting uh, the level of our entry meaning that we will collect the this the difference between the entry point and the stop loss order for this reason we will carefully follow this trade um, to see if um, the price action is going to move upward and to see if we're going to be able to to adjust our stop loss order tire looking at the five minute chart now see how the breakout looks like And let's try the 30 minute chart as well. Yeah, definitely tinier. But uh, the bullish candle through the upper level is pretty big. On the 15 minute chart, we have one candle closing above the upper level of the consolidation for sure. Yeah, the interesting thing here is uh, on the five minute chart we have another pattern. Let's use some different color so it will be you will be able to visualize this in a better way. Orange is okay. Oh, I um, unintentionally moved our stop loss order higher. I didn't want to do this, so I'm going to I'm going to get it back wherever it was. Sometimes this happens, these are very unfortunate mistakes. You don't want to do this because uh, if you unintentionally move your stop loss order upper and the price action then uh, returns quickly and hits it, you're going to appear to be with a losing trade. You want to avoid this for sure. So this pattern could be taken as a... Oh my god, I did it again. <laughs> This happens because because uh, the entry point is very close to the to the line we're currently building. So when I intend to actually touch uh, and uh, and drag the line, I actually drag the I uh, I initiate something like a command which triggers the stop loss order to move. So this pattern looks like a like a pennant maybe a flag which got broken in bullish direction meaning that the price action is currently pursuing the size of the pennant over here and then when this size is completed uh, there is a big chance that the price action initiates a further bullish move equal to the size of the pennant pole over here the pole which is another reason to believe that the price action will most likely increase Here is the flag on the 15 minute chart. All right then, now let's pause the video and get back later to see if we'll be able to adjust our stop loss order tire. Okay guys, we're back uh, about five hours later to see that the price action has created a sharp increase after like consolidating for about five hours around our entry point at 112. Uh, 26 and this let us adjust our stop loss order so that we will break even so we entered the market at 112.26 uh, or at 112.266 uh, and we trade at a 4 pip spread meaning that our break even is located at 112 
0.306. Now we modified our stop loss order and uh, currently we risk nothing for our trade. So we have nothing to lose in this trade, meaning that even if the stop loss order is hit, we will lose zero. And at the same time, we're still in the market with our trade, meaning that uh, that if the price action increases further, we will lock in for the profit. So I repeat again, we're in the market and we risk nothing, which is an example of successful risk management in this trade. So what I suggest is to pause the video now uh, for a while more and to see how things will develop with our trade. Will the stop loss order be hit at 112.306? Uh, 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 leaving us with a zero loss and nothing more from this trade? Or the take profit order will be hit, uh, making us total winners from this trade? Okay, let's pause the video and come back later. Okay guys, we're back about 15 minutes later to see that the price action quickly returned in bearish direction, uh, hitting our already adjusted stop loss order, uh, which uh, triggered our exit from this trade. But fortunately, I have adjusted the, the stop loss order above our entry point, uh, covering the spread requirements of our broker meaning that uh, we broke even from this trade and we even left in the trade for free risking nothing because we covered uh, the spread and the entry point placing the stop loss order above the entry point after the price action did this sharp move over here but um, in the next candle the price action closed uh, a spinning top candle pattern which has reversal functions and triggered a very very big bearish candle that hit our stop loss order and took us out of this trade but as I said we have nothing to lose here since we broke even and we lost absolutely nothing from this trade and uh, this is the important thing to understand that uh, it is not necessarily every trade to be a winner since you're either losing an insufficient amount or you're losing absolutely nothing as we did in our case so thank you very much for watching this was damian from forexbow.com i am looking forward to see you in our next trading session and until then i wish you happy trading